Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Red Hat Linux on VirtualBox. So, open any browser of your choice. Right now, I have one open and search Red Hat Linux. Navigate to the link with Download Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Once you click this link, it would ask you to sign in. I already have an account and I'm already signed in. So you can go ahead and click download at no cost. The download should begin automatically. This will take a while, so we can go ahead and skip. Once the download is finished, we can go ahead and open uh, virtual box. Then we go to new. Let's call this red red hat. And then we have to select an ISO image you can go ahead and select other this is the recently downloaded IFA image as you can see these are grayed out because we have already selected an IOSA image you can go ahead and click next then we can set up a user so let's call this Toby user and then we can change the password here as well leave this as red hat and we can go ahead click next So it's, it is advised that you have a minimum of two gig, two gigabytes of memory, and set two processors as a minimum. I also allocate twenty gigabytes because that's the recommended minimum minimum value. And you can go ahead and click finish. This would immediately start and start the booting process. The booting process has started. This will take a while, so we can go ahead and skip it. Once that's done, you'll be greeted with the screen. Let's go ahead and in increase the screen size. We can set it to Now we can select a language, English, and continue, capture, continue. Note that to exit this mouse capture mode, you can always press right control. That's what it's set to by default. You can always change it in settings. And then to go back into it, so let's set up a root password. And then because of this error, we'll click on done twice. All right. Next, we want to connect to Red Hat. So we can go ahead and type in our username. And password.
once you have successfully typed in your username and password, note that this was created when you were dialed in to the Red Hat image. Then you click on Done. And go ahead and click here. Selected this. I only have one, so we can go ahead and click that one. And then we can click done. And then we can click this app as well. Software selection. Depending on what you want. So we have server with GUI, server, minimal install, build functionality, custom operating system. And we also have additional installs depending on what you want. So let me just click this. I'll go with minimal install as standard. I click on done. And we can begin installation. And now we wait. Once the installation is complete, we can go ahead and reboot the system. A screen like this should appear. It will take some time. So now you enter your local host login. Then you enter your password. My bad. Your default local host login should be root, and the password should be what you set. So we'll wait for it to log in, and then we can proceed. Now you have logged in. And this is the minimal install. This is what it looks like. There's no GUI. It's just a command line interface. If you want the command line, in, if you want the GUI and everything that comes with the base system, you can go ahead and click workstation instead of minimal install when you are selecting the software installation. In a situation where you want to change the software selection. I have reinstalled, I have installed the Red Hat, and now we can go back and change the software selection. So if you want a GUI on like just a command line terminal, you can select workstation. You can select some additional software like GNOME applications, uh, we can add this as well, graphic administration tools, and that could be enough for me and this installation. So let's go ahead and click done. When you're done with that, you can select begin installation. This installation will take a while. So let's go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and reboot the system. Now that the installation is done. This might take a while, so let's skip ahead.
now that it has finished booting up, let's start the setup. Can skip. And then you put your full name and username. After that's done, then you can set up your password. And all done, let's start using it. There we have it. We have successfully installed uh, Red Hat Linux once again, but this time we leave GUI. Bye. Thanks for watching.